All right, good evening again. I guess this will be part two of the little 959 project I've been working on. Uh, in the first video, didn't really get into a lot of details about the radio itself, just more or less did kind of a how-to, I guess, on how I like to do the upper and lower channel mod on these. Now, obviously, I'm not the first person to ever use a factory switch to do that, but I just never had seen anybody show how to do it and there's probably a better way to do it that's just the way I was able to figure it out on my own how to do it so and uh, I'm no RF engineer radio expert I'm not running a CV shop or nothing I'm just a hobbyist that likes to play around and work on these things for fun in my free time so just throwing that out there but anyway uh, Got the clarifier unlocked on it now. I didn't play around with the slide or any of that just because I didn't want it to be uh, super touchy. So it's still stock as far as the slide goes. But we did get it uh, unlocked and went through a quick uh, synthesizer alignment and found that the core in L20 here was cracked already. I didn't crack it, it was already cracked. But luckily I had a, uh, a blown up parts radio over here and I just replaced it and it works fine and uh, anyway I'll show the clarifier mod the first thing to do and I'm not some expert like I said these are published mods but you can see D68 right here I got heat shrink over it and R113 right there I got heat shrink over it um, you can just clip them but I actually unsoldered one side of each and just lifted them up, put heat shrink over them. That way it'd be easy to go back stock if I ever wanted to. And then on the other side of the board, you just run a jumper, small jumper. See this red wire here? This is eight volt line to this point here. There you go, that's how you unlock clarifier. And after you do that, you just want to run back through the uh, synthesizer alignment. It's really easy. It takes like five minutes to check everything and get it lined back up because it did shift a little bit on this one. And uh, this right here is the 10KC switch mod. So I kind of alluded to the fact last video that I'm not really a fan of having to drill holes in a radio and add switches. So my original plan was to put the 10KC right there on the Roger Beep switch. However, the way this works out with the funny channels or poor man's channels, however you want to call them, to get all of the 10KC jumps, some channels you have to go up and some you have to go down. So like for example here, you know, this counter's not showing up really well because I've not got the cover on it. There we go. So we're on channel 12. Try to get it positioned where it'll look better. You see we're on 105. Channel 11 is 085. So we're missing 095. And to get it, we have to go up to channel 12. And I just put this switch on the side. It's a double throw switch. It goes down or up. In the middle is off. So we have to go down. And there's 095, aka 11A. So it's the same on 19A. Like I'll go ahead and just flip the switch back to the middle. So there's 16, 17, or 17, 18, channel 19, 185, channel 20, 205. So to get 195, you have to go to channel 20, flip the switch down, there's 195. And on some of the A channels, you have to go to the bottom side and go up it just depends on which one you want to get and the main benefit of doing this to me was to come up here to the upper channels and normally sorry for my shady camera work you have 435 425 and then 405 so you miss 415 which is a good sideband channel so to get it go up to 425 Flip her down. Now we got that one. And it works on all the other skips too. So I hated to put a switch on this radio, but 
we had to to get up and down for 10 kc so that's the one switch i'm going to add to this thing as of now this is like uh if this turns out to be like any of my other projects i'll set a original plan and then i'll just end up adding 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 but uh yeah that's all in the fun of it you can see i got the meter out and the uh the lamp i've got a new meter coming because the one that was in it the scale you can't tell too much in the video but the scale is pretty faded and it's kind of yellowed and crispy it didn't look good at all uh, so i got a new one coming and i'm going to try a few different types of leds and see which one looks the best and also figure out how to tie it into the dimmer because if you just tack an led on to the same points of the old wheat lamps they don't dim they might dim just a little but not enough to even really count it so that's where we're at on this thing now i appreciate everybody watching and following along and We'll catch you next time. I guess our next step is going to be probably just waiting on the meter to get here in the lights and uh, experiment around seeing which ones look the best and all that. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're at with it. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. 294, the Black Dog. We're out.